Praise and praise and praise my brothers and sisters. This is Sister Judy coming to you this morning. Hope all is well. Hope all is well. Let's just say a quick prayer before we start this morning. I thank you, Father, for grace. I thank you for love and I thank you for mercy. And I thank you, O oh God, that in everything that you do, I pray for mercy. And I pray, O oh God, that each and every one that hear this word will receive it and know it's your infinite love that you're reaching out to each and every one. Amen and amen, brother. Now, I'm going to tell you what the Lord lay on my heart. I started to see a glimpse of this from February 27. And I did not know if the Lord wanted me to utter it until last night, which was the seventh. He made it very clear while I was in prayer that I need to tell my brothers and sister about the seal that they need to use to protect themselves from this airborne disease. Now, what I will be saying, I will also link a prayer that I had prayed November 12, 19, sorry, it was November 12, 2018. At that time, in the spirit, the Rurak had me in prayer. So I was praying some prayers that I would write. And then at a certain time, the Ruach would ask me to pray it out. So I had built a firewall prior that I used to pray. Because I didn't want to mix the prayers with the video. So I only gave certain people those prayers. So what happened when I saw what was happening in the world? The Lord bring back that prayer to me. I did not know if I had take it down from the other channel or what. But once I finished pray last night, the Lord told me it is on this channel. So I need to relink it and let people listen to what was taking place 2018. When the Lord sent me in the atmosphere that he told me that there was an airborne disease that was released in the atmosphere. And it is like the strain of TB. That's what he told me. He did not name it. He just told me it's an airborne disease. And I was called in the atmosphere to go and release certain things. So while I was in prayer last night, the Lord told me, I want you to let my people know that this airborne disease that is in the atmosphere, he will be sealing his people. And you can, the reading for this is taken from because this was the reading that I was getting from the other day. From Ezekiel 10. I was reading Ezekiel 9, 10. And as I was reading it, I came across the man that was clothed in the linen. Now, once I read it, I start every time I close my eyes. I'm seeing this man sitting on a wall dress in linen and he's just looking at me but I know he's an angel so I went up in prayer I think around the 5th of March when I start to see it very hard and I asked the Lord who is this person that is sitting on the wall and the Lord told me that was an angel that's what I read about the man dressed in linen that is going to go through the city and mark 
people and as I was in prayer I was sent with him there were certain islands that I saw him with and he was sealing up a set of people he was sealing up some houses and I was just watching what was taking place now the reason why I'm doing this video the Lord warned, when I asked the Lord in prayer, because you have to listen to the prayer that I pray. November 12, 2018. When I was praying that prayer and when I was in the atmosphere, you can hear like I was speaking to someone which was the Lord. And he told me, that there will be damage, but it will not be as much as they wanted it to be, but there were going to be damage. So when I went in the atmosphere, there was a lot of damage already done. So what I want people to know, this is an air pocket disease, and it breed through your skin through the pores of your skin that's where it breathes through and once it breathes through your skin because it's like a because it's more like the tb once it's set through your skin for a while it will affect your breathing your lungs so it will be more like when people who have TB, you cough. But that is another stage. It must first come through your skin before it can take effect of your lungs and your breathing. Now, when I started to see what was taking place, I started to give a set of people what the Lord told me they need to do to seal themselves. I didn't know if he wanted me to go public yet until last night he told me I need to go public because this thing is going to go crazy now. So what the Lord told me that people need to do to seal the pores on your skin you need to use one cup of salt. This is a salt that we use to cook. This is not Epsom salt or those he told me. It's the salt you use to cook. For those who have tub, you can just release it in maybe half tub of water. But make sure you immerge yourself in it. And that will seal your pores from anything from this infectious disease. For the Caribbean and people that are living in the Caribbean Sea, you can go to the beach and the salt will seal it. The seawater is salt, so that's very good for the Caribbean people to get rid of it anywhere there is salt water. Now, I say this because when I went in the atmosphere to release the salt that the Lord gave me, I had to pour it in the pocket. He said I'm to pour it in the pocket of the clouds. Like you could see like the clouds were breathing what was in the atmosphere. So it was releasing the things in the atmosphere that was not right because of what went up. But once the salt went into the pockets in the atmosphere, it was able to do a lot of damage to come back what was supposed to be. So once I understood that the Lord wanted me to do this video this morning and also attach that prior, because I thought I lost this prior. But then the Lord told me last night, no, you have it. Go and search and link it. Put the link in this video 
And for you to understand what took place, you need to listen to that prior. And also, once I was in that prior and I was coming out, I said to the Lord, how dangerous will this plague be that is going around? And he said to me, if you want to understand it, go and read up on the Black Plague. You see, when I went and I read up on the Black Plague, I did not know that there were so many people got killed. And even then the Lord told me what they were trying to do now was double time what happened, but it will not happen like that. So I realize now this is going to be serious. I know when I went in the atmosphere, there was a lot of damage already done, but I didn't know it was that until he told me last night, I need to take a look at the Black Plague. And also when I was reading up on the Black Plague, I realized it was in China also. But my brothers and sisters, what I want you to do, I've never asked this much for everyone that hear this video. You need to share it. You need to let people know to protect themselves. It will be the salt that they use, the cooking salt, not any other salt. This is the salt you use to cook. One cup in half a tub of water. You bathe yourself and you seal your pores. It has to do with coming through your skin, through your pores. If you can block it from going through your pores, then it will not have an effect upon your lungs. So I want you all to know that. And if the Lord said it's like the TB, that means if it's something like the TB, there is cure. Unless they don't want to give it. But it has the effect. When it takes the strong effect, you start to feel the way you feel with the symptom people have when they have TB. I want to make sure I'm saying everything that the Lord told me last night. I think this is it, my brothers and sister. If there is anything else the Lord want me to say, I will come back. But give this video to as much people as you can so they can be sealed and be protected from this plague, this airborne disease that is in the atmosphere. So God bless you again. I seal this word with the ring of Yeshua HaMashiach. I seal it with the blood of the Lamb. God bless you all, my brothers. This is love ministry. And spread this word so others can be saved from the airborne disease of the atmosphere. Thank you.